up and down. Like that. Okay, and uh, here are wrinkles that goes uh, diagonally. I need to walk like a circle maybe, like this. Oops. Trying to hold your, your pillow with your other hand. Okay. If uh, needed, you can spray more water. Uh, this part is getting better, much better. This one is still. So I don't. I wish this uh, doesn't uh, scare you, um, because uh, if you if you use uh, another method like uh, uh, putting the silicone on the backing paper, you you could avoid this more. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, much easier if you mount the silicone on the backing paper instead on the, on the painting first. So I was um, ch challenging myself. Again, this is called method A. Uh, if you, you do have the option to mount the backing paper first and then uh, put the painting on, so you will not and don't use this stuff, you just uh, throw it away. <laughs> use a piece of paper, that's all. Attachment paper or silicone release paper. Okay, I think this is the best I can do. <coughs> so that's a major fault. Uh, you won't even see it, I think, on the video. This is on dry paper, and I mean on the white paper, it's not, uh, not too bad. Uh, what I think is, you know, the, the wrinkle just adds some uh, uh, texture to the, to the painting. And, and people can see what you know what was done on a thin rice paper. So that's that's all it does. You, you don't really see it for, until you stare at it. You know. So 
the risk is if you are a perfectionist, uh, the remedy is to spray water, let it uh, wet, and then cover it with the uh, paper. You see, it actually yeah, it's working out pretty good. This one, this part was really bad, and now you, you cannot really see right here. And that one could be. If I want, I can keep working on this until it disappears, I think. So, what it does is water will uh, separate, kind of lose it a little bit. You cannot really take it out after you, you iron it on, so that's the disadvantage of this. But if with the wet mounting, it's not easy to peel it off. You have to uh, use a special, you need lots of time to rub it off. To this uh, silicone film, silicone film is uh, not like a paste. Uh, but the, the advantage is it doesn't uh, need waiting time for, for dry, and uh, you can still paint on it. With, uh, it's not changing the absorbency. You can still write and paint on it. Okay, um, I think that's, that's about it. So let's do the assembly. A little bit damp. I spray the water here. So just let it dry. Okay. Now I'm going to assemble the margin and the, the uh, painting together. So the first thing I'm going to do is to uh, it depends on how you want to attach the edge. If you have the supporting strip, the painting goes on first, because there's a space, there's a buffer area. Uh, in this case, I'm going to put the margin first, I think. So just like, uh, like that. I know that the margin is exactly the size of the backing paper. I can just do this. So this is the word, the, uh, the horizontal strip. I can use the paperweight to hold it. So. This is the one easy to activate it. Just keep iron until it's I kind of realized the back and the white. Uh, let me see. It just uh, come off, I think. So now I understand why uh, my friend says you should use the smooth side. It might be the reason because. Uh, Oh, I see what happens. This one, this margin missed the... There's no silicone attached. Silicone starts here. So this is very common. The silk is not completely covered from the manufacturer. So um, yeah, that was the problem. It's another issue. 
uh, even with the silicon paper, there's an extra margin that that doesn't come with the film. So I can um, I can put some silicon right there, I think. So you can use uh, some silicon paper. Cut it, cut it in a piece of it. Or you can just, uh, since we have extra here, I, I'm going to just cut another one. So just take it off. Just, just throw it away, I think. Oops. It's not. Okay, a little bit tear. Yes. Because this half of it doesn't come with the silicon. So we have to use the extra piece here. The, these two are the horizontals. So we can just use them. Two and a half, two and a half plus a little bit extra. This one I should do. Yeah, this one is what I want. Let's do it again. Yeah, it's very easy because uh, this time <laughs> it's covered with the silicone. So what happened was the uh, it was a margin where the silicone didn't start. Okay, maybe use this one. I I can check against that. So make sure the silicone is fully covered. Alright. It does happen. Another mistake I think I just made. <coughs> Remember I said uh, which one goes behind, which one uh, in front. The vertical normally is uh, uh, behind the, the behind the what is what yeah the horizontal. I. Um, because for the convenience of uh, measurement, I just did uh, the horizontal first. Um, what I can do is I can I can cut the extra off so they don't really overlap. They need to exactly match without seam. 
Okay. Oh, just a little bit, you know. Maybe like a very, very, very small overlapping. So I just cut the extra off with a scissor. I think it's better done with a uh, with a uh, knife. I can just try my best. Pair of scissors can also be convenient. Okay, so <laughs> I'll just cut it off. So there's a little extra margin on this side. And then I hope exactly match this part. I will be fine in the middle. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> no overlapping. No uh, supporting stripped or tape needed. You see, <laughs> see the color match exactly because the orientation. This thing is more important than the little uh, edges, I think. If you made a mistake on the orientation, it will be noticed. If you switch 90%, uh, 90 degree, uh, the color won't be the same. So they must be the same direction. Okay, and this one, I think it's shorter for some reason. It doesn't have the extra. I don't need to cut. So because it's a craft, you know, each piece is it's different. It's different. So I just yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit longer. So we can we can just. Iron on one side, and then um, when it's all fixed, take the extra off, then fix the other end. I think so. You learn by experience. So I just do this half, and then I estimate. If there's too much extra, it's just like one centimeter, one I mean millimeter extra. It's not a big deal. I'll just show you what you can do. If it has been done first, then you have to measure it. You know, it's kind of hard to estimate either. To you know, uh, you have to use a ruler to measure it carefully. So it comes first. Then uh, the horizontal on top of that, there will be no uh, seam line. It's just a little hair thing. Okay. That's it. Good to me. All right. Now we have to uh, trim this uh, this painting because the painting uh, you can see from the back is not uh, like a perfect square. So we need to do that. Then we put on to the supporting paper would be fine. So I just. Align on the corner and then trim all the sides. I'll just take extra. I take the extra paper off because it doesn't come with silicone. Right? Okay, just take this off, and then this this line become my base. I usually cut the the side with the. Uh, uh, with writing first, because the writing is important to keep it straight. Uh, anyway, it's pretty good. If 
in the corner and the square eyes. There. Just take that extra paper off. Okay. That's it. And then now we have two sides straight. Okay. The top is pretty good by itself. So I don't worry about that. It's better to do it because you don't you don't know if it's a uh, or um, backed with silicone or not. I I see there's some there's some heart missing. So better trim it. Make sure it's backed with silicone. So it's not just the trimming, but also important to avoid the unglued part. Oh, perfectly square and perfectly backed with the silicone. Um, actually, the wrinkle could still be worked upon uh, when you do the next step. So if there's uh, some wrinkle, we, we still have the second chance to, to work it because you're taking the the release paper off, then it become more flexible, you know, you got some uh, room uh, like this. The painting is not with uh, the silicone film only, so it can be stretched. It can be, the wrinkle can be further stretched, flattened. Yeah. So don't don't feel bad if the wrinkles to begin with. We have many ways to work out. In many cases, you just need iron more. This is not iron enough. I'm taking this release paper off from the original, using only the silicone backing. You can see that the wrinkle I'm talking about, right? Let's see if we can open it. I cannot pull it, but let's see. It's not a uh, serious problem, I think. As I said, it just adds delicacy to the painting. It's like a silk, it uh, feels like a... Just orient it this way so you can see the painting better. The two sides could be different, but uh, in framing we don't really care. Okay, now we have a problem that may be um, time to consider using strip. Because the paint after trimming, the painting is slightly smaller than the opening. I don't know what's wrong exactly. And the width is a little bit wider, but that's okay, you, you cover more. We can trim a little more. I think we can trim this side. And then we'll, we'll put some uh, strip around to hide the gap. So you, <laughs> you have learned a lot from this uh, lesson. I haven't done this for a while. I have a friend who, um, my partner who, who mounted this, uh, the Scrolls for me. Okay, so I just trim off. So 
an extra. Let's think. Maybe we do both sides a little bit to match the opening a little bit better. Wider, but a little bit shorter. I think the we, we, what we could avoid is you know the uh, other strip should be a little bit larger. So, but then you have overlapping. You will, you have more overlapping that creates a little shadow behind the painting. Not uh, ideal either. So let me. Just a hair. Okay, I have to put, uh, equally distribute the gap on top and the bottom, and equally distribute the difference in the width. I think it will be fine now. Just uh, <coughs> make sure it's centered. Let me put this release paper back on. This is the, the one that comes with the silicone. And start from the center, deactivate the film. This is where the zinc hole comes. Oh, I forgot one thing. This this pad is not not good to work with. It's too hard. <coughs> the cutting board. I need to put uh, four layers of thinning cloth. This one has been used for more than a decade. You can get from fabric store. You can see a white gap there, a white gap on the bottom because the measurement was not scientific. It's an artist measurement. The, the solution is this. Um, using this uh, tape that comes with the silicone, uh, you can iron on, iron head tape. I can use the brown, I can use this the cappuccino. I think the cappuccino may be uh, soft. I like it. You can use the, the thicker ones if needed. This may be too, this is nine millimeter. That's probably too, too much. <coughs> 